as we have proven, the most advanced way that parents can look at their children. Uh, because due to all the research and upcoming scientific technology, um, cures are, are, are being developed or researched to, to uh, cure diseases like congenital anomalies and even diseases like sickle cell anemia and thalassemia, uh, which uh, are being researched to, to cure. And thus, you could save your child's life and prevent them from having to go through that later on in their lives. So if you had the ability to learn about your child and to possibly cure them of a fatal disease, that, would, that could save their lives, would you not take it? Uh, even if cures of some diseases haven't been found yet, science develops every day, and solutions are being found every day. And wouldn't you, as a loving parent, want to at least know your child's diagnosis so that you could uh, coordinate with the doctor a treatment regimen? Uh, or, information? I'm sorry, I have a lot to say. Um, wouldn't you at least want to prepare a treatment regimen with a doctor or at least prepare the perfect life for them and be able to provide them with all their necessities? Wouldn't parents do anything for their children? With all the developing technology providing more and more solutions, how could you not grab the chance to check on them and possibly treat them? Also, ladies and gentlemen, this is a debate about embryo screening and not what they have made it out to be. Abortions, sadly, are legalized and happen in many countries and already more than 10 million have happened this year alone. Uh, furthermore, in the case of designer babies, um, they are also present in the cases of uh, sperm donating, in which uh, parents can pick and choose from qual uh, moms can pick and choose uh, from qualities to give to their children, um, or even later on in life, as in the case of plastic surgery, as previously stated. So it appears to me that their argument shouldn't be against embryo screening. It should Point be. Against I'm sorry, denied. Um, but it rather should be against. Uh, abortion and uh, sperm donating, or other, uh, or even plastic surgery, if, if you say that we are seeking perfection, uh, instead of trying to prevent concerned parents from learning about their child and possibly treat them and be able to provide the appropriate, suitable, and safe life for their children. It also seems that, um, that the opposing team views all parents as being monsters. Are we monsters, unable to live, to love our children unless they were perfect and incapable of cherishing them? Unless they were perfect. Point of information, please. Denied. Um, but as the majority of parents would do anything for their children, especially expecting parents who await the whole nine month period preparing the perfect atmosphere for their child, how is it even possible that they wouldn't want to learn about their baby's early diagnosis so that they could better provide for them? What? Expe expecting parents would do anything for their children. They spend their entire lives waiting for that child. How could they think? that they would abort them because of a disease. Instead, they could better provide for them and prepare for their lives, uh, as in uh, schools or medical treatments. Um, also, uh, you said uh, that um, it might cause some diseases. Also, uh, also x-rays can lead to cancers too. Why don't we just ban these? Also, uh, surgeries have survival rates. Why don't we ban surgeries? Everything has a bad side. But a, a minor a minor bad side is nowhere comparable to a much greater upside. To a parent, their child is their life. The, it, and what shows more love than caring about your child before it's even born? So maybe one day embryo screening will be just as vital and essential as checking for your baby's heart sound on a sonogram and just as routine. Thank you. They mentioned that sperm donating wasn't our uh, topic, and she's referring to it. Uh, yes, and I'm letting the audience know that you are arguing against a topic that isn't even ours. You're arguing <laughs> against abortions and sperm donating, and that's not what we're arguing about. They didn't now. mention sperm donating. Okay, so you're going to information. Oh, well, uh, an audience member didn't get talked about. Okay, uh, the, they have another one. <laughs> uh, do you guys have any more questions? I do have a question. Yeah. You mentioned that uh, this debate is about embryo screening and not what they've turned out. What they have made it out to They have made it out to be. Uh, according in the US, the Human Fertility and the Biology Authority stated that they would expand the PGD to, to, to with tissue tiling to create stem cells for transfer to very sick septic. That is, yeah, you have yeah, someone with leukemia. You have. You treat them. That's what you're saying. No, you can. 
giving the man and making a new child so that you can cure that child in the first one. one. This isn't, this isn't what we're talking about. We're getting they are making the out to what to be. It is happening. But this is not our topic. What parents have chosen to have other children save their uh, their older children, that is the topic on its own. This is the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. That is the road, the road, the road. <laughs> this, this has nothing to do with what we are saying. Parents choosing to have another child to save their previous child, it has nothing to do with embryo screen. But research is being done to treat these diseases such as sickle cell anemia or such um, by stem, uh, stem cell transplantation. And if we stop embryo screening, then we have ended the research to ever save these children's lives before they're even born. You can prevent them from having to suffer through it even for a few years after birth. You could, you could cure them, you could save them. If, you, if embryo screening uh, is legalized, then, re then the doctors would work on cures to treat these embryos intrauterine, and then we wouldn't have to go through them later on. Parents could treat their child before it's even born. How would a parent not want that? How could you not want to save your child? How could you not want to treat them? How could you be able to, to look at them later on and, and think to yourself that you had the chance to do something about it and you didn't? You had the chance to prepare for them. Even if you could have one minute left. You had a chance to prepare for their lives, to prepare for their schools, for their doctors, for their health, for their medicines. You could you could have prepared for anything and you chose not to. How could you live with that? How could a parent ever live with that? Thank you. Thank you.